This past weekend, Scott Rudin, who's produced nearly 80 Broadway shows, announced he's taking a step back from Broadway following allegations of bullying some people, including those coming forward with more stories of alleged abuse, who are saying it's not enough that he take a step back. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has new information tonight. It became pretty clear pretty quickly that this was um, more than an intense workplace. This was abuse. David Graham Casso's identical twin brother, Kevin, worked as an assistant for producer Scott Rudin for about eight months back in late 2008-2009 and says his brother developed anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress. David is speaking on behalf of his brother, Kevin, who died by suicide last year. It was... Um, just violent outbursts of yelling and throwing things. Did he ever report it? Was there anyone to report it to? He was terrified to report it. Um, his rationale was that this has been happening for decades. Rudin's been treat treating people like this for years and years. So, um, him reporting that wouldn't do anything. Earlier this month, the Hollywood Reporter published numerous allegations that the producer for Broadway shows, including To Kill a Mockingbird and Hello Dolly, smashed a computer monitor on an assistant's hand and threw objects at workers like a stapler and potato. In response, Rudin released a statement saying he was stepping back from his theater productions and also working to address his behavior. Much has been written about my history of troubling interactions with colleagues, and I am profoundly sorry for the pain my behavior caused. Actress Sutton Foster, starring in Rudin's revival of The Music Man, said in an Instagram Live video Sunday, I feel like the only positive outcome is the one that happened. But for Graham Casso, it's not enough. He posted this message on Twitter to Rudin. The abuse you inflict has consequences. Real consequences would um, would be Scott Rudin no longer being able to work in the entertainment industry. Rudin is stepping back from Broadway, but there's no word on whether he'll step back from film production. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. When asked to comment on the allegations by Graham Caso, a spokesperson told us Scott Rudin was not available. Actors Equity Association, which represents more than 51,000 actors and stage managers, wants Rudin to release staff from any non-disclosure agreements they signed.